eight years old, uh, I couldn't really see the chalkboard at school, and and uh, over about a course of a month, I kept moving one desk forward, one desk forward, and by the end of the month, I was sitting right against the chalkboard and couldn't see. So, uh, yeah, I ended up going down to Toronto Sick Kids and took a couple weeks, but got diagnosed with Stargardt's disease, which is rare uh, form of juvenile macular degeneration. I think just that young, you don't realize what's happening. You just kind of put it off to everyday life. My parents never made a huge deal of it. They never, you know, stopped things. I still had dirt bikes, snow machines and stuff until even now. And definitely just having the support of family made it super easy. My parents started looking into sports, the whole family kind of stay involved in. We found ski racing and thought we'd give it a shot. And first year I started ski racing, I was eight. Kind of fell in love with it. It was something different. You get to go fast and just kind of get away from everything else, feel a little bit sense of freedom and in a way get away from you know being disabled or having a visual impairment everyone's just kind of normal on ski hill. I raced able body for four years until my vision got bad enough that I'd start racing with a guide and from there I started racing with my brother for uh, six years. In 2014 we got uh, named on the World Cup team and it's been a roller coaster since then. Since then my brother's retired and has uh, moved on with bigger and better things and uh, Jack stepped in as, as the next guide and I couldn't be more stoked with the way things are going so far. I got a call from these guys saying I might need a new guide, so I thought, hey, sounds kind of interesting. So first camp down in Chile and uh, yeah, we had a good camp together and seemed to mesh well, so just stuck with it and it's been awesome. With Jack, it's been super easy transition. He knows what he's doing on the ski, super confident every turn. He uh, hardly ever makes mistakes and it just makes it easy to trust him is definitely important to get involved in sport right away because I know that you start to feel alone but around here everyone's treated the same. It's just a lot of fun. I, I couldn't see why not doing it. It could be kind of seen as kind of a bad time or, or something that could kind of hinder the rest of your life but there's also a lot of opportunity that comes with it and I wouldn't be where I am today without losing my vision so I'm, I'm, I'm still pretty happy. I think it's, it's been a good, a good last 10 years.